So really my main focus of this channel is to try and guide you guys through all of the different things I had to figure out myself. And one of the things I want to avoid is paying money for parts that either you don't need or which you can easily duplicate yourself and get just as good a quality product. And the thing that I think is the largest ripoff comparing ease of manufacture to actual price they charge is diversion plates. Diversion plates for the 350Z can charge you over $100 for one, and it's literally just a flat piece of aluminum that they have drilled some holes in and cut a center section out. This is something that you can make at home in your garage in probably 30 minutes, and that's working back and forth with a template to figure out exactly where your hood mechanism is, where you want your holes drilled, you know, what all do you want to include in this? It's really an extremely simple piece of kit and it is very easy to duplicate. But before we talk about making one, we're gonna talk about why you need one. So a diversion plate, what it is there to do is to make sure that all of the air that is coming into the front of your car actually goes through your radiator and keeps your car cool instead of coming up and over this little piece of plastic here and bypassing the radiator entirely. Air will always go to the path of least resistance, and it's easier to go through this open hole than it is to go through all the fins of the radiator. Now, some people will argue that a 350Z doesn't really need a diversion plate, because if you look at the underside of the hood right here, it actually seals this up pretty well, and I don't disagree. However, for the 10 bucks of materials and the little bit of time you're gonna spend, I think every bit of extra cooling that you can get is time well spent. So that's why I have a diversion plate. It's also the fact that my hood has been completely chopped up and is not like a stock hood anymore, but I had one even before that. This is just a simple, thin piece of aluminum. It's not very thick. You could make it out of a thicker piece if you wanted to. It's drilled down in four places on either side, one in the middle, because there is a little lip here, and then uses these two rip pop rivets on the bumper, and that's how it's held in place. It has been here for years. It has seen a lot of track time, a lot of high speeds, I've never had an issue with it moving out of the way. Now I got as close as I possibly could to my hood mechanism. So this fits in here like a glove. It is very tight. You can see it even rubs a little bit right here at higher speeds. You do not have to get that crazy with it. But again, the tighter you can get this, the better it is going to perform. Any thin piece of aluminum or steel or even carbon fiber, if you just wanted to buy a piece of carbon fiber sheet. Now, of course, you're definitely going to have to make some sort of template to test fit this back and forth. And I think the best thing for that is actually something like a cereal box. It's thin cardboard. It's easy to cut. It's easier to work with. And you can test it back and forth a couple of times. If I was going to make one out of carbon fiber, I would also make one out of metal like this first to use as a template because you can ply it. The cardboard's going to move out of the way of the hood pretty easy. The metal won't. So you really want to make sure it's perfect before you start cutting up your carbon. But really, this is going to be a super easy project for you guys. It'll be almost no money invested, almost no time invested. Just a little bit of paint, whatever raw material you want to use, and a few different screws. You can get as fancy or not as you want. A lot of them will come out all the way to these little bumps here, but it's not necessary. The plastic starts and ends right about here. So that's just the place that you're filling up. You don't need to come all the way over here. There's no reason to. This plastic is doing its job. It's blocking off the air already. You don't need a full width piece unless you want the jewelry, in which case make whatever you want and make it as pretty or ornate as you'd like. But there's no reason that you should spend a lot of money on one of these when you can make it yourself and make it fit your project perfectly. So of course, if you guys have any questions about why you need a diversion plate or how to make one or anything like that, of course, feel free to drop those down below. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next week.